During the limited time when the Book of Mormon was being translated in April, May, and June of 1829, at least 13 revelations now canonized in the Doctrine and Covenants were received and recorded by Joseph Smith. Joseph and Oliver had questions. These questions involved how the translation of the Book of Mormon was to be performed, answered in Doctrine and Covenants 9, or the necessity of priesthood in performing sacred ordinances pertaining to salvation, answered in Doctrine and Covenants 13. The trials Joseph and his associates underwent to translate the Book of Mormon and prepare to establish the church were vexing. The revelations importantly encouraged patience, confidence in spreading the gospel, being obedient in order to receive blessings, and ultimately trusting in the Lord to be able to bring about his purposes. Research suggests that it took a total of about 60 actual days worth of work to translate the Book of Mormon and transcribe these revelations, to say nothing about the time for stopping the translation process for meals, discussions, and more. People usually do not think of these series of interruptions, and these additional 13 revelations amount to at least one more full day's worth of precious time and direct work during the brief times available during the translation period. Knowing each word of God to be valuable, Joseph took scarce time down to write these revelations down. These revelations were important, not just to be heard once, but to be retained, remembered, reread, and personally used as the Lord intends. And now you know why. Thank you.